Hello, my name is Mark. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm in the process of upgrading various bits of my network. So I've previously reviewed the new NAS drive that I'm going to be using and I want to make sure that my PC and the NAS drive have the fastest possible connection to the internet. My router's in a different room. I currently use a power line adapter and I want to upgrade it. So I'm going to give the Magic 2 a try. They claim it's the world's fastest power line adapter. Now, just to give it a bit of a benchmark, I'm just going to run a speed test on how fast the internet is at the moment over the current TP-Link adapters I've got. So it's uh, it's going pretty well. So we're looking at 43, 44. So I'm on Virgin Media. I get 200, which is good speed. And 45 is pretty good. So the reason I've gone for this, aside from being the world's fastest, is this is a three pack. So I'll show you what's in there. Um, and the reason I wanted the three pack is I need one of these in this room that I'm in now, one where the router is, and one in an outside building where the Wi-Fi signal just isn't strong enough. And we want to make sure that we've got Wi-Fi there for being able to uh, play Spotify or access the internet or whatever. But first of all, let's take a look what's in the box. In the box then, we have installation guide. One of the Magic LAN plugs. This was another reason I got it. It's got the pass through plug, very important. You don't want to plug this in and be taking up a plug socket. You want to plug it in and still be able to plug things in and get power. Simple white design, little LED on the top, single Ethernet port on the top of this one. So we've got a standard Ethernet cable. The second one has pass through port, a couple of buttons on. I suspect this is the master socket. There's the uh, Wi-Fi key and two Ethernet ports on top for your network. And the final one is the same as that second one. So here's the setup I've got in my house. There's two rooms downstairs. One of them has my computer in. The other has my Superhub 3 and Virgin Internet connection. I want a wide connection, so I'll be placing one of the units in the computer room, one in the Superhub room, and that will form a power line connection. The outside building we have also has electricity that runs from the house. It's about 15 meters away so I'll place a third unit there to give me a power line link and a much better internet connection than we currently have. Before setting these up I took a reading in the outside building you can see I'm getting about 4 meg and the Wi-Fi connection wasn't very strong. Setup was very easy plug them into the walls and you'll see the little red light will flash white and then it goes solid white and that means the connection has been established. There's also an app you can download to manage these devices. You can name them and when you select them you can see the little light flashes. If I select another one the light stops flashing. Taking a reading afterwards I was very impressed. You can see both indoors and outdoors I'm getting really high speeds, much higher than I was on my previous system with the Wi-Fi outdoors almost hitting 120. Both have an upload speed of 20 and that's the maximum upload speed I have available to me via Virgin Media. So I've been using these for a couple of weeks, but for continuity purposes, I've put the same red hoodie back on. And I have to say, I've been very pleased with the results. As you saw in the speed test, we now no longer have a problem with the internet connection in our outdoor area. That is really fast. And my wired connection has also seen a speed increase. One thing I would say is be sure to download the free app. It's called the Home Network app, and it gives you extra functionality and it's very easy to configure them. So it will show you a little diagram of what plugs are online. You can set up guest networks, you can change Wi-Fi passwords, all controllable via your phone. So if you're interested in these, I will put a link in the description below. If you've enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, share, all the good stuff, and I'll see you on my next review.